Launching Protus Structure brings you instantly to the all-in-one welcome screen dashboard, all shown comprehensively in the start page. You can open a project or create a new project. A list of recently opened projects are also shown. Hover the mouse cursor over the project to reveal more information. Click to open the project directly. You can refer to your account and subscription information here. You can access Proto resources such as Help Center, Getting Started Guide, What's New Document and more. In addition latest news, announcements and learning videos are shown. Proto Update System notifies you about any software updates instantly. Required files will be replaced without the need to reinstall the software. Click Open Project in the Start page, and the Open Project dialog will appear. The Project Data folder is the main folder where the project models are stored. By default, a data folder called Protodata plus version number will be installed under My Documents. If required, you can specify a different location by clicking Choose slash Create Folder. Clicking on Explore icon will open the current project data folder in Windows Explorer. You can open existing projects stored in this data folder by selecting at the project list. After selecting the project, a preview of the project will be shown in the right-hand side. This includes the thumbnail picture of the project and important information such as material list, code of practice, number of stories and last save date. Double-clicking on the project name or click OK will open the project. Click on the drop-down of the project data folder to expose most recent access data folders. Tick Most Recently Used Projects to quickly show the list of recent project opened. Tip. Previous versions of Protostructure model can be opened directly by selecting the correct data folder. Please note that newer projects cannot be opened in older versions of Protostructure. That is, project models not backward compatible. Let us now start a new project. Tick All Projects and ensure that default project data folder Protodata release year is selected. Click New Project icon and the New Project dialog will appear. Type the project name as shown using the underscore character for spaces. Select Singapore, Eurocode template. Templates are used to rapidly establish default model parameters such as design codes, material properties, member design settings, etc. Alternatively, you can choose to duplicate settings from an existing project by picking projects. Click OK to proceed. The project model will now open. Protostructure welcomes you with a modern user interface designed for ease of use without compromising efficiency. At the top, the ribbon interface consists of several toolbars placed on various tabs. Each toolbar contains related commands organized into logical and functional groups. Placing the mouse cursor over a command will reveal the tooltip, explaining how to use the function. Generally, you create the model by working from left to right ribbon tab. That is, start with building set out, to modeling, to loading, to review, to analysis, to design, to drawings and report. At the very top is the quick access toolbar. Any command can be added to it by placing the mouse cursor over it, right click, add to quick access toolbar. Click on the drop down menu of quick access toolbar to turn on or off a command. The ribbon can be minimized by right-clicking on any place, choose Minimize the ribbon. To restore, click on a ribbon tab, right-click, uncheck Minimize the ribbon. By default, a plan view of Story 1 is always created with a new project. The main modeling area will now show a set of rectangular grids in the background. These grid spacing are by default 1 meter, with major grid colored darker every 5 meters. Scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Hold down the mouse wheel to pan or move. There are several commands icons that affects the modeling view at the left side. Firstly, the refresh display command. Click this to force a refresh of the current view. The rotation center command only affects the 3D view. It allows the view to be rotated around the cursor position. Display axis indicator will toggle on or off the axis indicators at the screen edges when the axis labels are zoomed out of the modeling screen. Next, zoom window. Simply click and drag box in the modeling view to zoom into it. 
Zoom previous, restore to the previous Zoom state. Zoom extents, zoom to the extent of the member or axis selected. If no member or axis is selected, it will zoom to the extent of all members and axes. At the left side panel is structured tree. The structured tree groups all the stories and members type in folders, such as axis, columns, beams, slabs and foundation. Click on the triangle to expand or close the folder. You can also search by type of text or number to look for a particular member. The bottom status bar will reveal important information during the modeling process. Always refer to it, as it often contains instruction on how to proceed. The global origin and coordinate system symbol is shown in the bottom left. The bottom right corner shows the exact coordinates where the mouse cursor is placed. Next to it is the default units. You can click on it to view more details or change it in the setting centers dialog. At the middle bottom is the command input. You can manually type the command name to execute it directly. Let us now explore some important settings. Firstly, the settings center can be accessed by clicking on the settings icon in the quick access toolbar or from the building set out tab. Under Proto Structure Environment, you review the loadings and design code. Click to change it. Click the general tab. Angle step, length step is activated when you press Ctrl key while modeling axes. This allows you to increment and decrement the length and angle with the preset value while modeling. Member section eccentricity step affects the increment and decrement of the eccentricity when you use your keyboard arrows keys to move the position of the member. Update channel. The default and recommended is always official. The other option is official and beta. Beta version may contain bugs and errors that are untested. Only install beta version after consulting proto-technical support. Under auto save, automatic save is by default off with value of zero. You can key in a reasonable value, bearing in mind that saving also takes time. Automatic backup is also done in the background every hour with a default three number of backups. This means that you can restore back previous three hours of work by going to File, Open Previous Backup. Return License on Shutdown. If checked, the license will be released automatically when program is shut down, if there is internet connection. This releases the license, so other users can use the program. If unchecked, the license will be locked to this computer for three days. If you have many users sharing a limited number of license, we recommend you always check this option. Tooltip Preferences controls the behavior of Tooltip when you hover the mouse cursor over a member or command icon. Theme selection allows you to choose different Windows themes for menu and dialog presentation. Under Display Setting, you can set the color of all the objects that are shown in the modeling screen. Under Grid, you can set modeling grid steps and colors. Under Object Snap, you can toggle the snap settings. Proto Details Environment contains all the settings that affects Proto Details, which is used to create general arrangement and detailed drawings for concrete members. Under Project Preferences, Title. Contains all the header information in all the reports. Statistics shows all important information of the model such as number of elements. Notes allows you to enter any information for this model, for your own reference. Unit and Format Settings. Allows adjustment of analysis, design and material, units and format. Label. Settings controls how member labels appears on the plan view. Templates. Controls the character display of each member type. Codes. List all the code of practice used in model. This is the default dialog you see when you first enter the setting center. Lateral loadings. Sets the analysis assumption of lateral analysis. Lateral drift and bracing. Sets the bracing conditions. The next subgroup of settings are specifically used in the design of members, that is column and shear wall, beam, slab, foundation and other members' design. You should review these design settings before performing any member design. Scales, rebars, and plan detail settings as affects the drawing generation by Proto Details. Template management. This is the template center where you can import, export, or create your own template. Click Cancel to exit without any changes.